I want to ask you a question in this video and the question is when do you feel finished? How often do you feel finished? When do you get to a point in your day or how often when you feel everything's done? Everything's completed and now I can rest. And I think it's very interesting that very few of us get to that point very often. In talking with people, my experience has been that very few people ever get to the point where they feel like, oh, I'm finished. Now that is an issue because when we are moving towards goals or trying to do anything, we're asking, basically we're asking the, the higher mind, if you like, the higher brain, whatever you want to say, the neocortex has these goals, these higher order goals. And the nervous system down here has very little interest in any of that. All it wants is safety. So when we're moving towards these higher level goals, life goals, we're basically learning how to negotiate to get the nervous system to comply, to feel safe enough in order to comply with those requests to take action on those goals. Now, if we never feel like, oh, I'm finished now for today, basically the nervous system isn't getting any signaling that rest now, you're finished. A gratitude for what it has allowed you to do that day for its cooperation. So we want to be feeling regularly, daily, like I'm finished, everything's done. Now the the thought process is going to be, I'm not done. I have so much to do. I didn't do it all yet. And I'm running out of time. And therefore I must, must do more. And the question is, is like, well, how much should you do today? And the, the answer comes back, more. Which is the worst answer. It's, the, it's a terrible answer. More is like how long is a piece of string and your nervous system is just totally going to be overwhelmed by this and it's going is it any wonder we start to go into this contracted freeze state where we can't actually do anything so a few pointers we want to get to the point daily where we feel like oh, I'm finished now that's great if nothing else happens for the rest of the day perfect I'm finished I'm finished pointers for how to get to that point what you do is you start to negotiate what are the, your minimum standards for action. Okay, your minimum standards. And that's different for everybody. But a minimum standard is, it's, 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 the question is basically, instead of asking, what's the most I can do? How much can I do? We, we sit with, what's the least I can do today in any given area? and feel like I've made some progress, some decent progress that I can feel that's solid, okay? Now, it's probably going to be much less than you think it is. So instead of saying, okay, I have to study for my exams or I have to write a thesis or I have to work on my business for six hours, that's an insane minimum. Six hours is a huge Herculean amount of effort to make, right? And the person who says that to themselves never puts in six hours anyway. But what if it's like you, you might be able to negotiate, okay, look, six hours might be in this ideal amount. But what if I was able to do an hour a day on that? Or what if I was able to do 30 minutes? In my book, Procrastination Decoded, I talk about 30 minutes being a nice block because you can actually make some progress and pretty much anything in about 30 minutes. Anything less than that is a bit tricky, but it could potentially be less than that as long as you're okay with it as being your minimum standard for engagement to make progress. And basically, with these minimums, it's, let's say you had two, three goals to do in a given day, and you, you meet the minimum for each one. What you wanna start doing then when that's met is sending the signal to your nervous system, I'm finished. Proactively telling yourself, thank you, I'm finished. 
that is such a game changer for us to feel completed like I've done it it's over with instead of this how long is a piece of string more 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 not enough not enough not enough run out of time run out of time that is the worst way we can talk to ourselves when we're trying to move forward with action so if you've got any questions about this just ask them below but we want to be establishing very easily achievable minimum standards for engagement with the goal that will make you feel like you're making progress towards the goal without overwhelming you okay and then we can engage with that consistently and then also consistently get to the point where we feel like huh good job things are done now I'm finished it may not be the six hours every single time but it would be a minimum standard that you can stay consistent with and can, the, the factor of consistency is super important here because consistency over a long period of time is going to reap massive rewards that, to be honest, we're not even good at comprehending or perceiving. We don't perceive the effects of consistent small daily engagement. So have that as a goal. You want to be getting to the point where you're feeling finished. I can relax now. I did what I needed to do. Okay, I hope that's a useful concept. Keep it in mind. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you very soon. Mind yourself. Bye-bye.